ABC7 presents the 53rd Annual San Francisco Pride Parade. Everybody tell me what you want to do now. Everybody show me how you're going to move now. And we're going to take it up and up, up and up. So high. Yeah, we're going to take it up. I see the bubble guns are going. We love to see that. The 53rd SF Pride Parade, the second year right here at ABC7. We are the exclusive broadcast partner with SF Pride, and we are so happy to be here once again. And look at that. Won't he do it? The sun is out. <laughs> it was raining a little bit before, but now it is looking beautiful. We have our short sleeves on, and we're going to be just fine. I'm joined by a beautiful panel of hosts this year. We are going to go from left to right, starting with Carolyn Weisinger, former president of Pride. So glad to see you, Carolyn. So good to see you, Reggie. Let's dance it up. We are going to do <laughs> right. it. We have Cal Calamia. This is the first year that you are hosting Pride with us. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm so stoked to be here. And returning the lovely Pearl Tees. Second year to broadcast here in ABC7, but you're an old veteran at this I point. I am an old veteran <laughs> at this point. I wouldn't say old, but let's, not say old. <laughs> let's, just, let's say veteran. I'm here for that. <laughs> I also want to let you know that we have our ABC7 crew up and down Market Street. Let's see their fabulous faces. Drew Tuma is nearby. He is going to be waving people down, talking to them as they are in the streets this morning. We also have Jovina Fortson. She is live along the route as well, and she's going to be with the Disney contingent riding the float this morning. And look at that, making his debut here at the SF Pride Parade. It's Zach Fuentes. Zach, we are loving this outfit. That is yeah. so cute. Zach is, right? Zach is at Civic Center this morning, and he's going to be covering some of the behind-the-scenes stuff as we see some of these performers get ready for another full day at SF Pride. And oh my gosh. Is the parade actually starting on time? <laughs> it is. On time, <laughs> First honey. contingent is coming through. Oh. Now, Carolyn, tell us who these folks are. These are the Dykes on Bikes. Yay! They look amazing. They look, they look awesome. Incredible. And they have been, they are the perennial leads in the San Francisco Pride Parade for years and years and great partners to the organization as well. Hey! I love the this best. Thing. <laughs> Gorgeous. Do we know how many bikes there are this year? <laughs> well, uh, Pearl, I think the answer is there are several many. Right, <laughs> right. I'm trying to get on one. Hello? <laughs> uh, I love to see these flags this year. We're seeing a lot of progress flags. We're yeah. also seeing trans, trans flags, flags, so we appreciate seeing that representation. You know what I've also been seeing a lot more of lately is a lot more bisexual flags, mm -hmm. too. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. And this is traditionally the loudest way to start the parade, which we like to see. <laughs> the Loud only way to start the, the parade. The only way to start the parade, honey. Yeah, the energy is incredible. And the Dykes on Bikes must have one of the most complicated setups. I mean, they have to ride the bikes out here. They have a, a U-Haul that actually has to take them because there's limitations uh, about how they can drive. Through. You know U-Haul how to help them. Oh, I do know a lot about U-Haul right now. <laughs> <laughs> We have a little Pikachu action coming up here. Oh, oh. love that. Pikachu helmet. Yes. <laughs> ah, amazing. Now, this is the first contingent, but we have more than 200 contingents coming down Market Street today. I feel like oh, it just wow. gets bigger and bigger every, every year. Every year. Uh, we got the sisters out here. There's the sisters. All the sisters. The sisters of perpetual indulgence. The best. Who were founded here in San Francisco. They have done so much for the community. They were so important, especially during the AIDS crisis. Reaching out to those who were in need, trying to tear down the walls of stigma that were being built across the country. Oh, there's a leather flag. You know, we like a little leather. <laughs> And of course, one of the most popular phrases of late, I see these teachers out there saying, sounds gay, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have the leather flag coming up. That's the leather flag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Strategically that. placed body paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always in vogue. <laughs> You're 
see here the trans flag coming by your screen. That is the pink, blue, and white flag. And as the dykes on bikes end, what did I tell you was coming up behind them? You the all. <laughs> no, but seriously, they have to have U-Hauls with them to actually take the bikes out of the parade route. Yep, yep. Yeah. They're I not just that. there for Yeah, it's it's part of being the president. You learn these things. <laughs> <laughs> Something else that we just uh, we're we're teaching. We're learning and we're teaching about fan etiquette. So Pearl, if you can count us down, because Carolyn is just, you know, trying to learn. She's a baby fanner. Right. Um, <laughs> Pearl is a very uh, like advanced fanner, okay. I would say. Oh, yeah. oh yes, so, the fans. Yes. 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 So if we can get the shot of all of us, and we're and Pearl's gonna count us down so we get this fan right. That's how we're really starting the parade this that's morning. That's how we're starting the parade this morning. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm really concentrating. Get ready. Okay. This. Okay. okay. So you're gonna take just one end okay. and, you, and just let it go, bro. Okay. On, all right, one, Wait. two. Happy yeah. Pride, you guys. We did it. Happy we did it. Yeah. Party started. Yeah. <laughs> now, do I have the nerve to try and flip? Uh, the, there's no win. Do it now. Yes! yes. Are you kidding? Yes. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. <laughs> Mr. Go. Vito Fortson, you're along the parade route. How is it where you are? All right, so I just learned a new routine. We're going to get into it. to be here. We have more than 1,200 Kaiser Permanente doctors, nurses, staff. We're so excited here to celebrate our members and our communities. Yes, and you've got the Warriors dancers here with you. Let's get into the shoes, shall we? Let's check out these shoes and talk a little bit more about Kaiser support because you all are all about health equity, having that present in our communities. Talk to us a little more about that. Well, look, we've been a partner to SF Pride for the last 29 years. Every year we show up because we truly believe that as an organization, you're healthy when you're being yourself, you're it's living the life that you'd want to live, and we're here to celebrate all of our members, all of our communities. Beautiful, Bashar, thank you. And now we can't leave the people. Now the sun is trying to play games with us, okay? So hopefully you can still see us. But uh, we got to show people the flow. All right. So we're going to step in a little this Let's way. Look at the flow. It's amazing. Lots of amazing people. You'll see we have more than 1,200 people today celebrating our communities. This is Alexa. And we have Heaven Lee there on the other side having a lot of great time. And we're really excited to be here celebrating with everybody. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Bashara. Everybody, the parade is literally rolling. You all are next up, so I'm going to let you go and send it back to you down there. Oh, all right. Floats oh my goodness! Are there any doctors anywhere? You know, they, uh, <laughs> except for the parade. Most of my doctors are from Kaiser, so I hope yes. I see them mm -hmm. coming through. Mm -hmm. I, I, mm -hmm. I will be giving them a special oh, yeah. shout out to all of my doctors that I see, and hopefully some future ones. Same. <laughs> yeah. Same. Their gender clinic is amazing. I it mean, really that's is. where I've gotten like all of my gender affirming care. It's, so. it's literally like a one stop shop. Huge. We are going to awesome. see more contingents coming down. 1,200 doctors and support <laughs> staff also coming down Market Street. We're all going to be here. We are live on the air until noon, and then we are streaming for the rest of the day until the last contingent passes us, and we will be right back. We are all allies in action. ABC7 celebrates Pride Month. Join us in supporting Lyric, inspiring positive social change with LGBTQ plus youth and families. Happy Pride Day area from me and ABC7, home of the San Francisco Pride Parade. ABC 7 News is your exclusive SF Pride partner. You're watching the Pride Parade coming down Market Street live in downtown San Francisco. And our friend Drew Tuma is along the parade route. He is serving us progress flag Mickey realness. Hi, Drew. 
Yes, come through, Reggie. Look at this. Yes, we are live here at the parade route. We are in the bubble machine, and as you can see behind me, we have the parade that is beginning to march down the street. We had dykes on bikes first. Now we have the AIDS life cycle contingent, and you can see they are big, they are loud, they are proud, and we've got people lined up all up and down Market Street. They are hyped. They are ready. They are excited for this parade. We have more than 200 floats that we are going to see pass by here on Market Street all morning, all afternoon long. And as those people come by, we're going to grab them. We're going to talk to them. We're going to talk about what it means to be here, what it means to show up today. It's going to be great. It's going to be beautiful. And speaking of beautiful, I'm going to toss it over to my good friend, Jobina Fortson. She is in the parade right now. Jobina, how's it going where you are? Yeah. It's giving. It's all right, Drew. So shout out to Alaska Airlines because I like my clack van at home, but they got me covered, okay? And I'm learning how to do all the tricks. They have a routine ready, and I have James here with me. James, talk to me about why you all are here today. Alaska Airlines, longtime supporter of SF Pride, as well as Pride celebrations up and down the West Coast. We're here just celebrating living our most authentic selves. James, is this your first time here? If not, how many times have you been? What's changed? What's better? Give it to me. <laughs> it's my second time here at SF Pride. I'm actually new to the Bay Area. Um, yeah, it's uh, what's changed. It's this just seems to be an even bigger crowd this year. Yeah. Here celebrating. It's beautiful. Now, you see this whole crew behind me, right? <laughs> they taught me how to do this. Wait, no, no, no. It's with the fingers. It's the light. It's a flick of the wrist. Excuse me. All right. Franco, you got to hit the music because we got a routine for you. Hit it, Franco. Let's go. This is the most amazing thing. Let's get into the shoulder action. Okay. Okay. He said, hit it. Hit it. Boom. You better work. Give me arms. Give me arms. Oh, yeah. short of it. Hey! We got the spins. And we're going to send it back to you. Okay? Hey! We're live here with Executive Director Suzanne Ford of San Francisco Pride. Suzanne, how are you feeling? Today. I'm elated. Once again, look, we did it. We did it. I mean, the parade just started. How are you feeling? What are your thoughts? What does it mean for you to be here again this year today on Market Street? It's overwhelming, and it's just my heart's full, and I just want to say trans rights are human rights, and this is what this year we've got to say, but I'm, it's so beautiful to be out here with everyone. And it's put together so well. I mean, we've only had one or two people go by so far. We have 200-plus floats here, and the energy. It's the energy is overwhelming. Like I say every year, to go down Market Street in front of San Francisco with this bunch, is, it's just the best. For those maybe not watching or being here in San Francisco today, but watching from somewhere else, what do you have to say to those people watching now? I have to say there's hope. Just like me watching as a little kid in Kentucky, there's hope. If you get to San Francisco, you can find your people, you can be who you are, and you can love who you love. I love that, Suzanne. Suzanne, it's always a pleasure seeing you. Happy Pride. Thank you to ABC and everything you do for us. Thank you, Drew. Thank you. Love you all. I better run and catch up. Suzanne, go run. Of course, we love working with SF Pride. We are the exclusive media partner with them. They're such a lovely bunch, Reggie. And she's just here having an amazing time. So I hope everybody watching at home knows if you can't find hope where you are right now, San Francisco, it's a beautiful place to be and live freely. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I moved to San Francisco about five years ago from Illinois. I went to school in Missouri, and I, you know, it was the first time that I really saw a trans community, and it inspired me to to find myself in in transition. And I'm so happy to be here, and just it is such a privilege to be able to live 
in this space where there is community and there is joy and there are people, there are trans folks that, you know, have a voice. It's really, really special and necessary. Yeah, for those who don't know, Cal has been an athlete like the whole life mm -hmm. and is trans masculine, non-binary, and has been working to include non-binary athletes in races across the country. It kind of started with Beta Breakers here in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. yep. It moved on to the San Francisco Marathon, and then you're in Boston this year. Yeah, absolutely. It was amazing. I mean, the first time that the Boston Marathon had a non-binary category, it just feels like a huge, huge win especially with all the rhetoric going around right now about uh, trans folks in sports. It's nice to have kind of a kind of counter narrative to that that is all about non-binary and trans folks accessing movement and joy, which we deserve. And we are lucky to have you, Cal. Yeah. So lucky to be here. On this stage, but also just in the community. Yeah. So thank, thank you. you. Uh, more conversation with our wonderful guest host today. And of course, we'll be looking along the street as all these contingents come down Market Street this morning. And we will be right back. Colors of Pride are everywhere in the Bay Area. I'm Cornell Bernard from ABC7 News. Happy Pride. My heart, my love, my support, my admiration is with you, and we're celebrating you today and every day. Happy Pride. But it's from the Gilead flow, and I'm here with Ashley from Gilead. Ashley, you were, oh, and we've got, we've got balloons. There's a lot going on down here. Uh, talk to me about why you all are here today. Oh, we're here because Gilead is committed to uh, the LGBTQ community. We're committed to inclusion, and spe specifically, when we think about health care, and we know so many, um, there are so many illnesses that disproportionately impact the LGBT community, HIV being one, and we're committed to science, and we're just here showing our support. Oh, yes, we are committed to science, so we're going to flip the camera around so that our lovely photographer, Steve, doesn't have to walk backwards, okay, and they get into the crowd, because we've already started marching down the street. This is a Gilead float back there, and Ashley, you were telling me about what's on it. It looks amazing. Thank you. Yeah, we just, again, it's just a shout out to our commitment to science and, and innovation and really trying to eliminate these health disparities. So we wanted to highlight that with the pride colors and just, again, show our commitment. It's about living, loving, and liberation. I absolutely love it. And especially we've got the rainbow beaker, disco ball in the middle, the bubbles, the vibes. It's a good time, Ashley. It's a good time out here. We're going to have a great time. Happy Pride, San Francisco. Happy Pride, everybody. We are doing it along Market Street this morning. We're so glad that you're joining the party here on ABC7. Proud sponsors of the Pride Parade, your exclusive broadcast partner with SF Pride. And now the party's really starting, y'all. Yes, yeah. well, we, just, we just had the church ladies for gay rights <laughs> pass by. We and, love to see and that. And you know what's so fun is that we are still in the board contingent. All of these people that have just passed through, this is still the San Francisco Pride oh, board is. contingent. Wow. So, yeah. what, so we started in 20, I'm sorry, as the former board president. Yes. <laughs> the board started in 2016. Instead of having a float, they started putting together organizations from across the region and we just get anyone who can't get their own contingent come march with us. So Beautiful. all these cable cars, our family coalition, the Spar Center, oh um, the LGBT Asylum, the Young Women Freedom Center, all of these have signed up to walk with our San Francisco Pride Board. Amazing. That's such a good, a good way to get more people involved. Yes. So I love to see that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And to see these kids out here is great. So sweet. All the oh. families. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of families, I just saw my partner's parents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the, in the, uh, in the trolley park, yeah. Adorable. That means so much to have that yeah. family support, and yeah. especially from a young age, just let people know it's yeah. okay to be who they are, and it's something his, we can his celebrate. Mother, his mother is a lesbian. Love. <laughs> <laughs> so keep it in the keep family. Keep it exactly. Yeah. Keep it exactly. <laughs> Carolyn, who is our next contingent here coming down? It looks like a, a, either this is AIDS life cycle still. I believe this is still the board contingent. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a beautiful flag they're making. Right. I love that. Mm. Carolyn, wow. which pride is this for you? How many have you been here for? 
You know, I mean, I, I tried to, to count which ones that I would party all night and not make it to the parade. <laughs> this, so we'll, we will say this is my fifth consistent okay. parade. Okay. My fifth consistent. I started as an honoree in 2018, and then I joined the board in 2019, and then I became the president in 2020. We called me the p pandemic president because we didn't have a parade for right. two years. Mm -hmm. We're so glad to be back. I love this. I'm yes. trying not to get emotional. They're, they're holding signs that say, he will not divide us with a, with a trans flag behind it. For those who have not been playing, paying close attention, this year there have been about 500 bills written. 600 now, Rich. 600, 600 in legislatures across the country that specifically target, target. the LGBTQIA population, but have a, a lot of those have been going after not just trans people but trans youth. There's yeah. about tw 220 that target tra trans youth, whether yeah. it's in their schools, whether it's in play groups, whether it's their parents' rights. Um, there are no. 200 of them now that are targeted specifically at youth and families. Yeah, and, and, and it started off as like a thing about, oh, it's, it's for the youth, but it's never really been just about the youth. <laughs> it never is. I, I was once a teacher. Our students, they, when they say the kids are all right, the kids are really all right. We would really hate of any form, whether it's racism or homophobia or transphobia. That's all taught. So we need oh, to yeah. make sure we're protecting our children because they really are the future of our community. Yeah. These, this is Verisphere right here. Look at Verisphere. Oh, these are beautiful. Amazing. Oh, yeah, it's and gorgeous. Wow, gorgeous. We wow. love to see this. Amazing. Verisphere, another legendary organization Everybody. here in San Francisco. They go all out. Yes, yeah. they do. I think this is the best right. one right here, though. <laughs> <laughs> Now we are at contingent eight. number four. This is contingent number four. It's open house. Oh. Open house. <laughs> oh, open house. Is that yeah. the, the they support this is a, a LGBT senior. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. housing services and community for LGBT. Uh, and what, and you can see on your screen right now. I love this poster. It says sexy, sassy, and <laughs> senior. <laughs> senior. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Obsessed. Open is so important you know equality california has stated that we are in the very first generation of true seniors in the lgbtq community so increasingly we're starting to need more senior specific lgbt services and open house has always been a leader in that oh this yeah. is a trolley of hiv long-term survivors uh, and that yes. is so, so yes. important to talk about because thankfully we have a generation that is surviving with HIV, mm -hmm. um, whereas you know, they lost so many of their brothers and sisters throughout the AIDS epidemic, especially here in San Francisco. Yes. But now we have these life-saving drugs which allow people to live healthy and long lives. Mm -hmm. And then, But the question is, how do we support them mm -hmm. as folks get older? Mm -hmm. right. And yes. organizations like Open House, and there are, uh, there are enormous uh, resources that have been gathered at UCSF and other places that have really uh, helped out these folks. So it's, it's, it's nice to see our uh, our generations taking care surviving and yeah. taking care of each other. And Absolutely. we owe them everything. We really they, do. they laid the groundwork for what we're able to do and be today. Yes. And so many seniors have to go back in the closet when they go to seek senior services. So really, LGBTQ specific services are really life saving mm -hmm. for Completely. our elders. Completely. Our Pride Parade coverage continues right after this. I'm meteorologist Sandia Patel. Happy Pride from all of us here at ABC7 News. Hi, I'm Dan Ashley. And I'm Amma Dates from ABC7 News. Happy, Happy Pride! Pride. Welcome back to ABC7's live coverage of the SF Pride Parade. We are exclusive broadcast partner with SF Pride. And can we talk about this set that we have this year? Ah, beautiful. <laughs> Put together by our friends at IKEA. IKEA. Isn't you know, it looking good? Yes, it's looking good. Yeah. They did a whole upgrade on this set this year. We are so happy to have them as sponsors. IKEA is about to open their first urban concept store in the nation. Yes. And it's right here, here on Market here. Street between 5th and 6th Street on Market. 
That's going to be happening a few months from now, and we can't wait to have them here in downtown San Francisco. And again, so thankful for making us look good today on this IKEA set. So Beautiful. thank you, IKEA. And we're looking forward to those meatballs, all right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all the meatballs. Please bring us some meatballs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, not just that, but we want the food, honey. Yes. Cinnamon rolls. Now, you might hear a lot of noise behind us because this is one of the largest contingents in the parade today. These are our friends from Kaiser Permanente, Kaiser, and they are getting friends. down. Yes. Turning the party. It's like Carnival meets Pride. Right. <laughs> they definitely turn some lives around, honey. Uh, it's so good to know that there are queer folks and allies working in healthcare right now. So amazing. 1,200 people, you guys. 1,200 people and, in this country. And you know, a lot of folks don't know about Kaiser. Kaiser was started in my hometown mean? in Richmond, California. They've always been for the community. They were created specifically to serve underserved folks. So they, this is something that they were, were raised to do. So the company was created specifically for this, and I'm happy to see them. <laughs> We should also mention, because I've done stories on this, that Kaiser Permanente was one of the first partners to really spread the word and the prescriptions for PrEP, mm, which is the medication yeah. that prevents people yeah. from getting HIV. Yep. So yep. the amount of work that has been done by Kaiser Permanente for the LGBTQ population cannot really be overstated. And you, you heard Cal earlier say, and also Pearl talked about the uh, affirming healthcare that they've received Come from Kaiser right. Permanente. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to Jovina Fortson. She Jovina. is live and bringing all of the energy this morning. Hi, Jovina. Hi. Okay, so we are with Augustine from BMO, and we actually have the whole BMO team right down there. What's up, everybody? We are on the BMO bus slash cable car situation, retrofitted out for this parade. Augustine, why is it so important for you all to be here? Well, you know, we're super happy to be here and celebrate freedom and love in the beautiful city of San Francisco. We've been here in this San Francisco parade as Bank of the West for years, and this year is really special to us because we're now part of BMO. BMO is a North American bank super committed to zero barriers to inclusion. In fact, you might have heard, we announced earlier this week a half a million dollar donation to the San Francisco LGBT Center for Youth and Financial Services Inclusion Programs. So super happy to be here flying our new flag. Love it. Okay, now you got to tell me what's been the highlight so far for you for Pride today. Well, you know, we're super happy to have such a great turnout. You saw our crew just a couple seconds ago. This is a super nice group of people. Everybody works in the Bay Area, is part of this community and feels super strongly about zero barriers to inclusion. So this is an important day for all of us. Beautiful, Augustine. You crushed that. Hit all the points, okay? And there's a whole crew of people taking pictures right behind us. And then we have everyone down here. It is a vibe. And they're going to be coming up Market Street Pass Make sure to say hey. Back to you. <laughs> because she is the parade queen, honey. Oh, my goodness. She's the parade queen. I feel like Jobina is a parade. She is a, she she's a walking parade, my friend. <laughs> that looks okay. like coming on. Y'all, this is one of my favorite contingents in the parade. Is it, it is our friends at Alaska Airlines. I love them so much. <laughs> oh, and they're it's cute, too. They are cute. I see it. Okay. I see it, honey. It's All right. a nonstop ride, a nonstop flight with Alaska Airlines. Oh, they've got Nikki Jizz. They've got Paju Monroe. Oh, yes. There's their Nikki. Oh, wow. What's up, Reggie? Let's go. Let's go. So beautiful. Yes. Look at Nikki and Padre giving a show, honey. <laughs> So, in case you don't know, Nikki just won Drag Queen of the Year. Yes. Let's go. And she just celebrated Rain her Rain. third year with Reparation, which is an all black drag show. Yes. Oh, look at the fans. They got a fan show going, y'all. Look, they got a fan, a fan show going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. oh the choreography. They got a fan choreography. Oh, here they go. Incredible. This is it. This is what Jovina was showing us earlier. Choreo. <laughs> We got front row seats, too. Oh, <laughs> Look, when flight attendants are involved, <laughs> you know it's going to be a <laughs> stopping, honey. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that yes. was. Boom. I got, got another it. band. 
How about it? Is there another one? Oh, do you have a gift? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, oh yes. 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 We love it. double fanning. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the double fan. You got it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, Pearl. Look, 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 Pearl. Part two. You're doing I, it. I'm getting better. You're learning. Oh, You're growing. It's beautiful. It's beautiful on both sides, too. Oh, look, it's Cheer SF, everyone. Oh, now you oh, know Cheer SF amazing. knows how to put on a show. They are so good. Cheer SF is one of my favorite city <laughs> They will pull a stunt. Woo! Yes. I it's, thought about joining Cheer SF once upon a time. Oh, oh you'd be SF great. SF Pride Board President Wing Fam is a member of Cheer SF, but this year, of course, he's with the board. Sacramento <laughs> Happy Bye. Oh, did they say Cheer San Diego Extreme? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They Let's did. Go. Oh, I love that. <laughs> they brought out all of their cheer they friends. so good. That's the sack cheer team. Oh, sack cheer is here, too. Oh, amazing. Yes. I just ate a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is this next thing to do? Oh, okay. Now, okay. Oh, if you're worried oh, about wearing a short sleeve shirt, <laughs> Just know that people are out here in speedos. <laughs> right. So, they Mr. Those are the doctors, Pearl. It's are the those doctors. Those are the doctors. They're the lying. Doctor. Those are the doctors. Hi, <laughs> doctor. Me, honey. <laughs> oh, we're about to have a stunt. Please get this stunt on camera. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I wanted to be a flyer so bad. <laughs> Amazing. That was so good. Oh, uh, the flipping. Wow. Yes. And there is no net. <laughs> oh. I love a stunt. I love a stunt. All right, Pearl, here come your doctors. There's my here, doctors right here. here. Doctors. My doctors, honey. Mr. What, what Mr. is, what is? Okay. Oh. Prep delivered. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Yes, it's we love it. delivered, all right, honey. Well, <laughs> we're up now. <laughs> we are up now. We are up now, honey. <laughs> Who needs coffee when you have the Mr. Misters? <laughs> what? They'll deliver what? right to your door. <laughs> I'm not sure what, what else they're delivering to your door, Pearl, but... As long as they've got the right address, it's okay. <laughs> as long as they've got the right address, it's okay. <laughs> it's pride, what can I say? I know. Cyclops is coming right on up. There is. There's a big it's Cyclops kind of trans, that's coming down right trans now. Cyclops. It is it giving is. trans Cyclops. Recyclops. This is the SF Public Health and it's being led by their Recyclops float. Ah. Supporting trans youth and then the SM, SFMTA Zero Emissions followed by the Laguna Honda bus carrying patient staff and loved ones. Oh. Beautiful. That's it's amazing. these balloon backpacks for me. I don't there even know go. what you call them. Amazing. It's like a sea urchin balloon. <laughs> Woo! You are oh, watching the SF Pride Parade on ABC7, and we will be Ms. right back. I'm Nisi Nash, wishing everybody a happy Pride. Happy Pride, and to all my gay brothers and sisters out there, we love you. Happy Pride, and uh, keep your chin up. You said keep your chin up. <laughs> We're going to keep our chin up. We're going to keep everything up. Everything right. is Every, up today, Everything is honey. up. <laughs> everything is up. Spirits are up. We've got people out here right now. Live, love, live. You are watching the SF Pride Parade. ABC7 is your exclusive broadcast partner for the parade. We go until noon live on the air, but don't you worry, we will be here for every contingent until they say we have to leave. And we'll, be, we'll be streaming that live at abc7news.com and app. also our ABC7 News app, which you can get on your phone, you can get on your TV. You can watch us everywhere. I also want to say uh, welcome to all of those folks who are just getting up from a rough night. <laughs> yes. Yes. If you were at the Foundry last night, if you were at Love and Propaganda, you, if you were at a place we can't say on the, on the camera. Uh, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Good morning. So we welcome everyone. Or those of you who are just uh, going to sleep right now. Or that, <laughs> Respect. Yeah. We'll see you later before, before we, the main we, state performance. We'll still be here <laughs> when you get up again. <laughs> we're having a good time. The parade 
Rain is really great this year. It's so Beautiful. many folks in it. So it's many. <laughs> Contingencies with over tw with 1,200 people alone is, is, is wild. It is wild. People are out to have a good time. Yes, to celebrate. And there's a lot to celebrate, and it has been really quite a year because the LGBTQIA, or as I like to say, the LGBTQIA, is more <laughs> visible than ever. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks in no small part to the three people who are sitting next to me today in our oh community. Goodness, <laughs> but beyond that, we have also been really targeted this year. Yeah. So it's been, um, it's been an interesting year to be a part of the community. We definitely are so proud to be here and we will continue to keep speaking because no one will silence us. Right, Absolutely. we are not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, there's all of these anti-trans, anti-LGBTQ legislation things going on right now and um, that's not gonna stop us from existing, honey. Uh -uh. If anything, we're just gonna get louder. Right. So sorry to the haters. And it's, and it's great to <laughs> not be in sorry. San Francisco because also you're seeing uh, cities that have previously raised pride flags yeah. now condemn pride flags. You're seeing people take back the support that they had. But as, as Mayor London Bree said, this is San Francisco. We just do it. We don't talk about yep. it. We don't dispute yeah. about it. We just do it. Yep. It's a great reminder that, you know, pride started off as a riot. You know? Yes. <laughs> We will continue to. Oh, and here's Lyric, which is a wonderful organization oh for our, our LGBTQ you? youth. So I want to give a yeah. shout out to them. They do great work. And we will be right back with more parade coverage live on ABC7. Hi, I'm Jovina Fordson from ABC7 News, wishing you a happy Pride. If you are LGBTQIA, if you are a person of color, if you are an ally, then this space is for you. All right, you know I had to switch up the mic flag because I am a company woman, okay? Because I am here at the Walt Disney Company contingent. And most importantly, my boss, Tom Sabrowski here, general manager of KGO, the exclusive, exclusive, okay? You are seeing it only here at the Pride Parade. Tom, talk about why it's important for us to be here. Well, we are, first of all, you are fabulous, Jovina. <laughs> um, we are so proud. Obviously, everybody here from the Walt Disney Company, from ABC7, Pixar, Lucasfilms, we represent every year, and this is our second year as the exclusive broadcast partner. So our entire team is excited to be here. Jovina, Drew, Reggie, Steve on camera right here. Come on, give it up for everybody here. Tom, I think it is amazing how much everything has grown over the last year. What is our goal every time we step out there on Market Street? Look, I think at ABC7, we do the best possible job we can in representing all of the communities in San Francisco and the Bay Area, but especially Pride. This is the very best day of the year. The hundreds of thousands of people that come out and that are watching right now, we are very, very proud and excited to be part of it. Thank you, Tom. And you know, I see a little friend right behind you, Tim Johns up here. Come on up, Tim, our colleague. Tim, this is what, your second Pride? Second Pride. Okay, what do you think? I mean, we haven't got started yet this year, but it's a great crowd. The atmosphere is amazing. The weather is better than we thought it was going to be. And it's always good to see you, my dear. Thank you. All right, so we have some friends with some clack bands here. They've been teaching us the looks. And you're going to see us coming down market, okay? So be ready, stay ready, so you don't have to get ready, okay? And we'll be right back after this. We are all allies in action. ABC7 celebrates Pride Month. Join us in supporting San Francisco Community Health Center, advancing health, wellness, and equality. Pride Month is a time to support and to celebrate the LGBTQ community. Happy Pride. Welcome back to ABC7's live coverage of the SF Pride Parade. We're your exclusive partner with SF Pride. And I just want to reset and introduce our team that we have today on this beautiful stage provided by IKEA. From left to right, we have Carolyn Weisinger, Cal Calamia, Pearl Tees, 
I'm Reggie Uki, and look who has joined us now. It is Miss Donna Sachet. Donna, Donna it's red. always great the to legend. see you. Happy Pride. <laughs> you wore some red, I wore some red, too. Yeah, you I got to. I always met you, Donna. Uh, <laughs> what a great parade. Just a little bit I've seen so far. Exciting new things. You're seeing bubbles. You're seeing, boy, we have bubbles here. All kinds of happiness. It's a great parade so far. Which parade is this for you? This will be my 30th. Fifth. Wow. wow. Almost Beautiful. to the very beginning. Beautiful. No, no. Well, sort of. Almost. <laughs> yeah. So how does it feel this year at Pride? What, what are the emotions this year? Well, I think the parade should always be a celebration and a, a happy thing, but we also know we have to go to work on Monday. And yeah. there would be work yeah. to do on Monday because there's a lot of people that don't like what we're doing. The fact that they're right. attacking us now means that we've been successful, though. They know we're out. They know we're here. So let's keep fighting on Monday, but have fun today. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so this year, uh, you always have your brunch. I do, yes. Yesterday was Gary Virginia, Donna Seche's 25th yes. annual Pride brunch. Oh, oh 350 people. Wonderful we've had a lot of money. Uh, it's great. Nice. Um, is there anything particular that you always look forward to seeing in the parade? Well, in the parade, I want to see something new. Feathers, bubbles, uh, balloons, something. And today we're going to see it. So this year, Donna, there has been a particular attack on trans folks and for folks who do drag. And that, I mean, you know, drag has always been a subversive political thing for our community to express ourselves, but also a way to entertain ourselves right. and to really bring joy into our lives. So the fact that drag has been under such a microscope this year, there have been so many people attacking drag. Where are you on that? Well, I think it's so easy to attack drag because we're obvious and they're going to peel us off in the rest of the community. And then it splits the community. That's the one thing we can't afford to do. We need to stick together. Years ago, there were some gays that said, you know, oh, we're not ready for all that. You know, just the, yeah. the ones in suits or something. We need to have all of us under the same umbrella. Absolutely. And we have to remember our brothers and sisters that live in places that are not San Francisco. And countries. Yes. Mm -hmm. Entire countries. Killed, you know. yeah. I, I always remember what Jose Saria said. He said, well, you know, let's stick together because united we stand, divided they catch us one by one. And that's yep. what they're trying to do. Absolutely. Donna, I have to say that we have, we, we've been thinking, should we, we have to give you your flowers. You know what, flowers? I mean? you know what that means when, when someone You're says give someone their flowers? <laughs> no, we are going to give you these Oh, flowers. roses. Look at yes. those. Which match your Can outfit they see today. That? Yes, it will just blend right in. How sweet of you. Thank you. And you all look great, I'm telling you. Now, everybody speak up, because you all have an opinion. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, uh, we don't have any trouble. Uh, no, you don't. Nah. No. Oh, kind of holding back back there. We, it's always great to see you, Dennis. Thank you. Sashay. Thank and you. We look forward to all the joy that you bring us year-round. My favorite station, yeah. Channel 7. Yeah. Oh, see? Yeah, just do it. I knew um, I liked you. <laughs> okay, well, keep Zoe. Who Zoe do we have here? Right here? Yeah. Oh! Zoe oh, Zephyr is here, which is a Zoe. really big deal. Oh you my know, gosh! Can you come up here? Yeah, like how do we do that? Can we, we're, gonna, we're getting Zoe up here. I'm so happy. Wow. You know everybody, Reggie. Everybody. This is amazing. <laughs> so Zoe is the uh, representative in Montana who is silent. What? Essentially. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> Zoe, it's such day. a pleasure. This is Donna Sachet. How are you? Thank you for being here. Wow. I have a microphone now so I can yes. talk to you. It's a real pleasure to have you at SF Pride. It is such an honor to be here. I was at the Harvey Milk Gala a few days ago, oh. and to see everyone here, it's a reminder that our joy cannot be stopped. Yes, okay, so for those who are who are not familiar with Zoe, um, you probably saw the headlines earlier this year when Zoe was essentially silenced on the floor of your own state legislature, where you represent the people. Yeah, we saw the way in which extremists on the right will utilize every tool at their disposal, including undercutting representative democracy itself, when people hold them accountable for the way their bills hurt LGBTQ people. How are things in your state right now? There is a sense, when I, every letter I wrote that session, I signed it off with pride and determination. And the people oh. in our state feel that right now. We're determined to beat these in the courts. They're already losing in our communities and we're full of pride, and our pride parades went off without a hitch. Oh, I love to hear it. Um, so I I, th I saw you at the, I don't know, you met many, many people, but um, we saw you at the GLAAD Awards this year, and it was great to see you there. It was such a lovely event to see the way in which media is coming to sort of more fully and authentically, not represent queer people through our struggles, but through our joy and through our just 
daily existence and to see so many people there doing the work, not in my realm of politics, but in media, which is just as important. It was such an honor. Thank you for stopping to talk to us. It's now you have to run. I hope that you have your oh. calisthenics ready to go. Oh, I was the dance instructor. Oh. I'm the dance instructor. Let's go. Enjoy. Back to your state, will Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Absolutely. A Love pleasure. Thank Happy you so Pride. much. Happy Pride, Happy Pride to Pride. you. Bye-bye. You never know who will stop by here, <laughs> and that's what's so fun about the SF Pride Parade. More surprises and fun when we come back. Thank you. We are all allies in action. ABC7 celebrates Pride Month. Join us in supporting Lyric, inspiring positive social change with LGBTQ plus youth and families. We are all allies in action. ABC7 celebrates Pride Month. Join us in supporting SF Pride world leader in the global pride movement. We love you, sister! <laughs> Hi, beauty! <laughs> the sisters of Perpetual Dolphins are coming down the street Karen, right you now. You gotta say see oh. Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see you, beautiful. We love them so much. Hi. Love you! Whether you're watching us on broadcast, on our ABC7 News apps, or ABC7News.com, we're glad you're here. Everyone is welcome here at ABC7 and, of course, the Pride Parade. And we have some new friends joining us again. Kumasi Aaron is now here, sitting I'm next here. to me, my co-anchor on ABC7 Mornings. There's a shot of Sister Roma coming down the street. And my husband, Phil Hiring, is here. Oh, Hi, everyone. Hey, Hi, Phil. friends. How are you all feeling today? Friend, I'm having a time. <laughs> I have the best job. I feel like I just get to stand right here and dance and be hyped, clap my fans, and live my life. <laughs> okay. That's it. it is such a good energy here. Right? It is every year. But there's something just, this year is so exciting. It's like, we have some drizzle. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? The drizzle right. brought the drama, I thought. The, the, the drizzle, drizzle brought the, the drama. drama. Yeah. Right? Yes. <laughs> this parade is the light, it's the energy, it's all the things. I mean, such a variety of people we've seen come down, yeah. dancing, all the things, the costumes. I'm here for it, friend. I love that. And my husband came in pearls. I, right. you better yeah. Yeah. In honor of okay. pearls. Oh, you know we love it. Oh, oh, very good. Very good. These are all pearls. real. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It doesn't play. Yeah, what do you think? Play. We love a pearl, honey. We love a pearl. Yes, we do. <laughs> I we love have... these, these stilt walkers. I mean, right before them, they, the, the, we just had Drag Queen Story Hour, mm -hmm. which was really cool. Because they were the first, they were like part of the first group of people that were attacked. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to uh, something that was just uh, basically meant to bring joy and happiness to kids and not to mention education. Right. Somehow became weaponized and... And became violently attacked in a lot mm. of places. Yes, mm. yeah. Uh, to the extent that we just did a story at a, a, at a drag time uh, story hour that was that they needed to have escorts yes. right now right. to these events, which I never thought I'd be saying. Oh, my God. But again, as Donna Sachet said, when you are attacked, it's because you are visible, yep, and yep. it's because something is yep. working, and that there's a backlash against you because you you are moving forward. Yeah. And yeah. It, so, it was so important that we did have another elected. You know, electeds are getting attacked. I mean, I got my first hate mail as an elected last week, and it was oh, great. Okay. I was so excited. No. <laughs> So, yes, we have Assemblymember Lori Wilson and Sassoon, who have proposed new bills to support our trans students who have been attacked. So we have to support everyone on all levels who are basically putting out policy that supports our kids. And, Carolyn, you should mention who you represent. I am the newly elected council member in the city of El Cerrito, just across the bridge. I'm one of 340 newly elected LGBTQ elected officials across this state, the highest number that the U.S. has had ever in its history. So when we talk about representation, when we talk about successfully moving forward, we're talking about Carolyn and others who are representing us, and we're glad to see it. Well, I had the opportunity to speak on our main stage yesterday, and my message is that we need to make sure that most folks who are queer, visibly queer, who are, you know, drag queens, who are transgender, need to run, because if we're going to say this is what democracy looks like, we have to really show what democracy looks like on all levels. Yep. Absolutely. I don't know if you all can feel it, because there's some space between you and the 
people in Parade about where you're getting so much love. Y'all got of pins. Y'all got all, all the things. When we get done, I'm going to have to divvy it up because they're like, give this to them. Give this to them. And I'm like, okay, they're working right now. But you're getting so much love. And I said, you just really feel from everybody is have everyone's just having a great time yeah. here today i'm so glad to hear it yes look who's coming up the road reggie it is our speaker emeritus nancy pelosi this is her Ms. contingent pelosi. that's coming up i don't know where she is but she's somewhere in there let's see no speaker is, is a, a spitfire a small woman she's in there somewhere mm -hmm. <laughs> and i believe that she helped to turn on those laser lights that are making that beautiful oh. pride flag oh, she did. Of that is she did. Making my night every if night. you haven't seen it yet it is incredible especially since we are a foggy city yeah. it makes yeah. it perfect for those lasers mm -hmm. it starts down at the ferry building and it shines all the way down market street to twin peaks mm -hmm. so just look up in the air if you're in san francisco tonight you'll be able to see it I love that. I, I'm seeing so many of my friends. You know, the California Democratic Party is standing strong oh, honey, with see, our Speaker Emeritus. Uh, you're going to see all your if friends If I say all these elected officials right here in front of me, look at them. Mm -hmm. There's Cesar Cepeda from the city of Richmond. Who, who else do I see? Look, Hi, there's baby. Robert from Contra Costa County. <laughs> I caught it. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Fans look, here. They threw a button. I caught it. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's that Through the air, we're getting gifts just thrown at us. Oh! Oh! oh. oh <laughs> you got to watch out around here. Thank you, honey. Thank Nick, you. We, I got you. You know oh, I got you. I saw her coming up the street. They said, this, here's the speaker. Oh, there she there's is. Here's the speaker. Oh. oh, I love that pantsuit. Now, where is Drew Tuma? Because he's well, usually chasing he after her. Drew is usually running around here. Speaker! Oh, there he is. Oh, here comes. Drew heard us, and he is walking up to her now. <laughs> okay with all purple, though. I love it. There's Leslie Katz, former, Take me, former Justin. Board supervisor, Leslie Katz. There we go. We can hear you. Speaker Emeritus, Nancy Pelosi, thank you for coming to San Francisco Pride. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm happy. I'm proud. I'm full of joy. And we're so excited to have our special guest, Adam Schiff, who's been a champion for democracy and LGBTQ rights across the country. And Congressman, how are you feeling today? Uh, I'm feeling great. It is so wonderful to be here with people who are celebrating uh, where there's such a, a love of everyone who can be their authentic selves. I thought we had great pride parades in L.A., and we do, but this is unbelievable. It's really tough to beat San Francisco. It is, and it's also quite special to be riding in a parade with the greatest speaker of all time. <laughs> speaker, one last thing. What do you have to say to people who are watching right now far and abroad? Who are what? Who are far, maybe couldn't make it here. What would you say? Oh, uh, we say to them, uh, we love you, we respect you, we care about you, and we connect with you. Whether you're here or not, we're together in spirit. Thank you so much. Happy Pride. Happy Thank pride. you. Happy Pride. Yeah. Drew, happy Pride. Thanks. Happy Pride. We're getting, all, we're, getting all the, we're getting all the all the big wigs okay. this year. Is he wearing a cape? He's still here. That's the progress flag cape. The star is the is the, the hot ride though, the low rider. That's the star. <laughs> <laughs> She said, forget the speaker. It's about to be hard. Do you think it has, oh, wow, Carolyn, Carolyn. you think it has hydraulics or what? It might. Let's it's San Francisco. Let's San Francisco. Let's San Francisco. Come to the Mission District. We'd love to see it. Gary! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Wow. So Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, and then Rob Bonta. And Rob Bonta. Oh! Yo, we get a yeah. Yeah, yeah. And coming up next, partner? you can see the sign there for Senator well, Scott Weiner, and he is. Wow, Scott Weiner is on top of this truck. Yes, he is. Okay. And he is, okay. is there an the outfit that there. we should be looking for? He I is mean, giving us iridescence okay, realness. I see it. Well, not this okay. <laughs> You're watching the SF Pride Parade live on ABC7 and our streaming apps. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jovina Fordson from ABC7 News, wishing you a happy Pride.
happy Pride and to all my gay brothers and sisters out there. We love you. Happy Pride and uh, keep your chin up. <laughs> Such okay. corgis, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who doesn't love the corgis in the Pride Parade? They're always so adorable. They're definitely a highlight. <laughs> <laughs> At Pride, you know, we celebrate the LGBTQIA and corgi population. One thousand percent. Thanks so much for watching us here on ABC7. We are your exclusive Pride partner along with SF Pride. And this year, we are so excited to have this brand new stage that is furnished by our friends at Ikea. Now, you may have heard that Ikea is opening a brand new version of their store. It's gonna be an urban store located just down the street here, our Market Street, in the next couple of months. We got a little bit of a sneak peek and Ikea rolled out the uh, rainbow carpet for us. So take a look at this. Happy Pride, San Francisco. It is great to be a part of this iconic celebration today. As your new neighbors, we are looking forward to making IKEA experience more convenient and accessible for the many San Franciscans. While we're still under construction, we couldn't miss this party. IKEA has long-standing history of support for the LGBTQ plus community, and we are loud and proud about that in our stores and in the communities we serve during Pride Month and every day. At IKEA, we believe that diversity is key to our success and that inclusivity is not only good for our coworkers, our customers and our business, it is embedded in our values. From public advocacy to internal policies, our vision is to make life better for the many people. To create an inclusive workplace and shopping environment, we are proud to participate in campaigns raising awareness for LGBTQ plus causes that align with our values. San Francisco is so unique and so special, which is why we remain committed to this beautiful city and we'll be sharing our exciting plans for the grand opening celebration of IKEA San Francisco in the coming months. In the meantime, neighbors, IKEA is making room for you to take up space in your own way today and every day. Happy Pride! And I also want to let you know that we're spotlighting an organization that's making a difference every single day in the San Francisco community, the SF LGBT Center. Their mission is to connect our diverse community to opportunities, resources, and each other to achieve our vision of a stronger, healthier, and more equitable world for LGBTQ people and our allies. For more information on them, just go to their website. It's sfcenter.org. I want to give a shout out to all of these folks who are in the contingents and giving us so much love today. All of the love. They have all of the gifts. They have all of the fans, <laughs> all of the flags, all of the bubbles. If you don't get bubbles or confetti in your mouth during Pride, <laughs> did you even come? Pride, <laughs> even Look pride. who got another low rider. It's Assembly Member Matt Haney. There he is. What does the shirt right. say? I'm trying to read it's this shirt. Along oh. with Assembly Member Liz Ortega. It says we're all born naked and, and the, the rest, rest is drag. drag. Yes. Miss RuPaul okay. herself. Iconic line. so true. I love those shirts. And yeah. Assembly Member Haney lives in the Tenderloin, adjacent to where we are here in downtown San Francisco. <laughs> oh my goodness, right behind them is Muttville Senior Dog Rescue. <laughs> I do have to give a shout out to Muttville, located in the Mission District. They're always looking for new dog mommies and daddies to come and rescue their senior oh. dogs. Because senior dogs <laughs> need love too. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's shout out to, hello there. <laughs> shout out to our senior dogs. You're watching the SF Pride Parade on ABC7, and we're coming right back. The colors of pride are everywhere in the Bay Area. I'm Cornell Bernard from ABC7 News. Happy Pride. Hi, I'm Dan Ashley. And I'm Amma Dates from ABC7 News. Happy, Happy pride. pride. All right, everybody, it is my favorite contingent in the parade. What is it? The Disney contingent. Oh, we love the Disney contingent. ABC7 is owned by the Walt Disney Company. I see some of my bosses and my <laughs> colleagues coming down. I see our reporter, Tim Johns, right now. My boss, Tom Sobrowski, is here. 
It looks like their slogan is, we are the magic. We are the magic, magic honey. We are the magic. Hello, friends and family. If anyone's got the magic, it is we. <laughs> this year, oh the Walt Disney Company, for the very first time, hosted Pride at Disneyland. I got a chance to be a part of that. It was absolutely affirming that and wonderful. Incredible. And I just can't wait for that to continue as a tradition from here on out. Walt Disney definitely stands, the Walt Disney Company stands behind us. And me, as an out anchor on ABC7. So I'm really proud to be a part of this company. Oh. And my colleague, who I'm proud to say is a fierce ally, Jobina Fortson, is with our contingent this morning, and she is talking to one of the Grand Marshals of our parade, who is also on ABC7 in a very big show. Jobina. Oh, hello, hello. So I am here with the celebrity Grand Marshal for this parade, Jake Borelli. How you yes. doing? Oh my gosh, this is incredible. There are so many people here supporting the queer community. It's incredible. Oh my goodness. So I hear that this is your first Pride Parade. Is that your in San Francisco? That this is. This is my first San Francisco Pride Parade, and this is the biggest thing I've ever done, I think. This is this is shocking. Oh. <laughs> I mean, people are going wild as Jake is coming down the street. If you recognize him, that is because he started Grey's Anatomy, and you were talking with us, Jake, about your character in Grey's Anatomy really aligning with your life, bringing you to this moment now oh yes I mean Levi Schmidt and I pretty much came out hand in hand especially publicly and we've we've gone through a lot of similar things together so he's my like a little queer spirit guide <laughs> What is your feeling as you sit here on top of the Jeep, by the way, coming down, seeing all these people, and just the excitement in the city? I, I literally feel like a princess right now. I'm like, I practice my wave, and it's like my arm is just getting so tired just waving at everybody. It's incredible. You got to do the Queen of Genovia, the, yeah. the little light. There we go. Especially you got in it. San Francisco. There I mean, go. I feel like Anne Hathaway. You know what I mean? You knew my Walt Disney reference. We're talking about the Princess <laughs> Diaries. Okay, get into it. Um, and we're having such a great time out here. We're probably going to need to hop off this car, so <laughs> I'll send it back to you. <laughs> Oasis walk, drive right past We us. sure did. D Darcy Drawlinger is the city's very first drag laureate, and she made headlines across the country and the world when it was announced that she was going to be our drag laureate. She is also the owner of the Oasis nightclub, which has really done, gone leaps and bounds to be more Huge. inclusive Huge. over the past few years, including, as you mentioned, Pearl, earlier, Reparations, yeah. which is hosted by our friend Nikki J. So yeah. um, shout out to Oasis, and if you haven't been to Oasis, please go check it out. They have yeah. amazing programs. You there. might even mm -hmm. see me performing there sometimes. Oh, 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 oh. You don't say. <laughs> we have our, our public safety officers coming up. This is our San Francisco Fire Department. We love the fire department. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an exciting section you know, of our parade this morning. You know. We got a whole lot of life. I love Joe being his interview with Jake. That was so just cool. on a car. Uh, just, just casually on a car with a star from Grey's Anatomy. You More know. fun and surprises when the San Francisco Pride Parade continues live on ABC7. I'm Niecy Nash, wishing everybody a happy pride. Mwah. My heart, my love, my support, my admiration is with you, and we're celebrating you today and every day. Happy pride. Welcome back. ABC7 is your exclusive partner with SF Pride, and we are so happy to be broadcasting the parade once again live here on the air and streaming. I do want to remind you that after we go off the air here at noon, we're going to continue streaming online. And I want to let you know that in addition to watching us do the parade online, we also have a special program called Allies in Action, Proud and Drag, which I just did last week with 
really the queen of all queens in San Francisco, including Darcy Drollinger, who we just saw. We talked about how she's the first drag laureate in the city of San Francisco. We also have Sister Roma, and we have Nikki J, who just won Drag Queen of the Year in a nationwide contest. So please join me with the for that conversation. They are really smart and talented people, and it was super interesting. And like I was saying before, after we go off the air here on ABC7 Broadcast, we will be continuing this parade until the last contingent goes by on abc7news.com slash pride or on our ABC7 News app, which is right on your phone or on your TV. So we got you. We're going to mm -hmm. keep on going. That and ABC7 News app is everything. It's, okay, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. we just captured that, and now you're in an ad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Pearl Tees, for that. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to reset and introduce again our really amazing host today for our Pride coverage here on ABC7. Uh, Pearl Tees, of course, is joining us again, and she's she's an old veteran. Not old. She's a veteran <laughs> of these parades. Cal Too Calamia. many adjectives. <laughs> Cal Calamia is here. And Carola Weisinger, you are bringing us all of the facts and information about Pride, and we are grateful for it. I spent three years, you know, as president of the organization, I learned a lot of things. I also know where all the bones are buried. Nobody oh, knows. yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, got it. <laughs> so we'll be talking about that later. <laughs> wow, well, the tea will be spilled, honey. It looks like coming up next, we have Mayor London Breed's contingent. Yes. Okay, so crazy thing, the Pride 5K yesterday, Mayor London Breed was the starter. Oh, and it really? Was, yeah, it was hilarious. It was just, it was so fun. Hilarious? <laughs> I mean, hilarious. Okay, the story is that right as we were starting, I was taking my shirt off because that's what I, it's the Pride well, of 5K. Course you did. I'm trans, course like, you, did. you know, you got to do it. Right. And it was like, she looked at me and said, oh, we're taking our shirts off. And then she <laughs> said, ready, set, go. And it was like, the, <laughs> it was like, it all happened so fast. It was a blur, but it was, it was fun. It was cool to have her there. Oh, that's and, so cool. And then she flipped around like, from a 5K. Right. And went to the Donna Sachet br brunch and was Fabulous. I don't know how she did it. That's amazing. That was pretty a fast. big, a big queer weekend. <laughs> that's what we do. That's yeah, it's what, what we do. do. <laughs> and you know, at the end of it, we're going to be gay and tired, but that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that's for tomorrow. That's right. right. tomorrow. <laughs> we are living in the present. So that's true. Right? <laughs> yes. And what did you say earlier that we are homo what? Essential. Homo essential. Yes. <laughs> so yes. I love that. <laughs> and I can flip my. Boom. There you go. We there got two go. now. Oh, you, yeah, oh, you're can, double fanning it. Okay. 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 I'm going to back. <laughs> I'm going to get out of there. We're so proud of you. You missed it. I did it with the other hand, No, girl. it's there. It's down there. It's, you know, oh. we'll, we'll catch it on the stream. We got oh, you. Okay. If it's possible to to clack fan and do it, Butch, you just did it. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm fluid. You know, I'm all over this community. I, yes. I'm representing yeah. everybody. We love that. <laughs> you're going to be a leader, you got to represent everybody. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> also, <laughs> Carolyn is really trying to be everything at ABC7 because now you want to take Drew's job, apparently. I've decided oh, really? that I want to be a Butch meteorologist. <laughs> I think that I can say it's hot. You know, put on some, some, you know, daddy shorts, you know. The, the meter and lights are off, so it's time to go into the city. I can do all of the things. Okay. I can do it. So hire me. Where the big boss at? Hire me as the butch meteorologist. <laughs> okay. You got it out there. On behalf of our lovely co-host today here on our ABC7 stage, sponsored by IKEA, we want to thank you for watching us on ABC7. Again, we're continuing at abc7news.com and all of the news apps, so please continue to watch the Pride Parade. Whatever you do, be safe. Be out, be proud, and thank you for your support. We love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs>